Also, during this year's American Sheep Industry Association's annual convention in New Orleans, there was a lot of excitement about American wool. In this morning's Montana Ag Report, Russell Nemitz is in the Big Easy and tells us why. It's an exciting time for U.S. wool growers as American wool is in high demand both here at home and around the world. The American Sheep Industry Association's Rita Corliss Samuelson explains some of the efforts that ASI is doing to build demand for that high quality U.S. wool clip. So we do export quite a bit. So ASI works with the Foreign Ag Development Service with the USDA in developing those markets. And we've developed markets um, all over the world in this marketplace. So we do export a lot. We've got here in the United States, we're also developing our, our brand. We have the American Wool brand to bring it into current ages and modernize it and let young people, millennials and others know about wool and its capabilities. And because our breeders are breeding finer wool, making finer yarns, they're making lightweight fabrics, it can be worn year round. And wool is very, very versatile and that's an important message that we'd like to share with consumers. David Fisher is a member of the ASI's Wool Council from Sonora, Texas and says keeping the U.S. textile industry alive is a big priority to help ensure demand for American wool continues. What can we do to help infrastructure such as wool testing, uh, conversation came up about helping the scouring uh, facilities, you know, get, get into the 21st century like they need to be. Um, because, it, you know, that, that, without that, you know, we can't continue to have, move forward and have the, you know, the growth and productive industry that we want. Textile and apparel companies also see tremendous opportunity as demand continues to grow for American wool. Jacob Long leads American Woolen Company based in Stafford Springs, Connecticut. I mean, obviously as one of the last remaining weavers in America, the big thing for us is to try to take wool fabric and go across other consumer segments. Most people think of wool for only the apparel industry, for outerwear, and for us there's a huge opportunity in interiors as well as for accessories. So I think for us it's just looking at what consumer markets are growing and taking our wool fabric and trying to attack those markets. Producers like ASI Wool Council member Randy Tunby from Baker, Montana say the growing demand for American wool is also helping their bottom line back at the ranch. We did have the record prices this past year and wool is is on a pretty strong market trend this year too. Maybe not quite as much as it was last year, but that helped fill the gap for people and it also made some people realize that boy we should pay attention to maybe the wool side of things a little bit more and when you can get those uh, dollars back in your pocket from the wool that you, that you were able to get this year, it, uh, it makes a large difference. So there's good reason why there's so much excitement these days within the U.S. wool industry because after all, American wool is the original performance fiber. Reporting from the American Sheep Industry Association's annual convention here in New Orleans, I'm Russell Nemitz.